The one thing that I really like about summertime is the days last longer. You know what I'm saying? Normally the sun's down by now. Yeah, it's like 6.30, but <laughs> anyhow, sun's still up. So I'm trying a different soap right now. Uh, this is just a just like a generic soap, bro. Like the cheap stuff that they have at Walmart. Or honestly, I got this at the dollar store. <laughs> so I got this and I got this little scrub brush thing in my bob. Trying out some weird shit here. Um, I, I want to see how well this stuff foams up. And a little foam cannon. There, There is going to be a little bit of my pink stuff in there. Because I sure as hell am not going to dump that out. Bro, I was just talking to you guys right now. I never press record. And then my camera shut off. I was like, son of a bitch. But anyhow, I was wondering what color pink and blue made, and we figured it out. It was purple. But anyhow, <laughs> since being I'm talking to myself for the past five minutes, let's go see what this um, dollar store car wash soap actually does. I am genuinely curious to see if it foams up. I know it's not going to be as good as my stuff that I normally get off Amazon, but um, let's try it out. Some little click click broom going on. the shit ah oh, you motherfucker there we go it's not bad bro yeah, dude, for some dollar store soap, that really isn't all that bad, man. All right, well, I'm gonna just kind of let that stuff soak on there to really kind of penetrate all the dirt and everything on the car. Get some soap inside of this little thing and show you what it is I plan on doing with this guy. There's one thing that sucks about this soap is I guarantee you this was probably like that much soap, dude, and then they filled the rest of it up with water. This stuff is really fucking thin, bro. My plan is to use this thing and just kind of scrub all the oxidation off of these bumpers. It's kind of like, like how we wet sanded the bumpers on the sedan out there. But instead of wet sanding, I'm just using this green Scotch-Brite. Obviously with a lot of soap, cause it kind of lubricates it so you're not just scratching the shit out of it, but I don't know if this thing even works. <laughs> are dead yes thank you thank you <laughs> did you hear that backfire dude i met the last couple of times we've used this i've genuinely missed that about the old pressure washer yeah it would always it would always do that like that backfire after shutting it off <laughs> and this one didn't do it but finally it did but anyhow uh we're running out of daylight really fast bro yeah. really freaking fast it's all good this video is going to end up going over the course of the next couple of days probably just messing with the car but hey can you grab a razor blade so we can get these stickers off pretty please i want this thing to look like it does whenever it's wet like how shiny it is um, I know that there's a lot of scratches and there's imperfections in the factory paint that we're not going to be able to just buff out, of course. But we can still make it shiny and make it presentable. There is one spot that has like some rust, which is unfortunate. I mean, maybe in the future I might fix this. I, I obviously don't want it to get worse. I, I want to leave it factory paint, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like my goal here. Slice at it, bro. Slice at it. I don't you, you don't want to hear or feel that scratching sound because... Well, you might not think so, but it will scratch the glass. <laughs> That's something I've learned the hard way. Like afterward, go back, you're like trying to wipe it off. You're like, holy fuck, I scratched the shit out of that.
All right, so got a lot of this stuff pulled off of the car. Uh, the rear wing, like I mentioned before with this on here, I wasn't able to get to all the damn plastic dip that was on this thing. So now you guys can actually see what it was that I was seeing. Like, need to finish getting all this stuff off of here for sure. But, dude, I'm actually glad whoever Plasti dipped this because it kind of preserved the paint on the roof of this car. Pretty dope, dude. I was expecting to get that Plasti dip off and it already be sun beaten because um, I figured that was the reason why they did it. You know what I'm saying? But got the mud flaps off. I took the, uh, the windshield wipers off and the rear wiper off because you guys already know we're going to have to sand these things down and respray them black. And also, if anybody knows where I can get this trim piece, like brand new if that's possible let me know throw it in the comments down below or send me a message or something because i wouldn't mind to find this brand new but for the time being the plan is to do what i normally do and that's just sand it scuff it up and i'll like mask off the rubber of it and then just paint that black and then reinstall these ones but um unfortunately like all the clips were broken well all the clips on the driver's side were like broken so i also need to find new clips also took the little door trim and the little side the little quarter panel window trim piece off i might just try to buff these instead of putting paint on them because they do still look pretty good they just have like some water spots and stuff that's stained on there the mirrors bro now this is obviously the oem mirror but this one right here is not bro i don't know if you guys can tell the difference in this um how squared up it is this looks like it came off of like a 90s prelude if i'm being honest and like this didn't even go to this car bro uh they had it like there was a gap right there and they had it all siliconed But you can still see the silicone on there. I'm about to get that all off of there. One thing that is dope is I still have the factory mirrors from Khaki uh, because we have carbon fiber mirrors on there. Um, I still have the stock mirrors that were on there and they're already painted, bro. I just have to find them. They're out in my storage shed inside of one of those damn crates out there. Um, but yeah, I have a, a matching set of actual EF side view mirrors that have already been resprayed black so so i need to go dig through my stuff and find those um and then that'll save us some work if they haven't gone scratched already taking the door panels and stuff off i literally did not break one single clip on here and i was stoked about that all the clips are still intact one of the hand cranks for the windows i have it in, no it's on the car this hand crank right here looks like it's blue yeah, that's blue. It doesn't, like whenever it's against the door panel, you can tell, like it stands out that it's blue. Um, and that one's not blue, but it's just faded. So I might, I might spray the little cranking handles black also. Yeah, anyway, guys, for the most part, I wanted to get a bunch of this stuff off of the car and out of the way because some of it needs to be painted. Some of it just needs to be buffed out. And I want to try and wax this paint to see if we can get a shine out of it. Cause right now, like there's a little bit of a glare off of it, but it's not like a real high reflective shine. You know what I'm saying? So that's my plan right now is to go over this with a high speed buffer. But since being that we just took a bunch of parts off the car, there's a bunch of dirt and stuff all over the place, dude. Up here. Yeah, we unleashed a bunch of dirt all over the damn place. off and now what i'm wanting to do before we start waxing is i have this piece of clay bar um yeah it's a little dirty i've used it once all right it'll be all right but i also have a squirt bottle um i know you're supposed to use like a uh, like a spray wax as a lubricant but what i have in the squirt bottle here is just that 
that cheap car wash soap that we that we got from the dollar store so um, I'm gonna use that as my lubricant man I'm just I want to get a lot of this grime off of the paint obviously before we start buffing it out you know what I'm saying because it has I mean it's wet right now because we just sprayed it off but it has like a it has like a gritty feel to it you know what I'm saying because the paint is filthy so I'm gonna go over it with our clay bar put this on a fan there we go. Spray her down with our soap. And then just go over it with the clay bar, dude. And you can feel it. Oh, dude, that's a huge difference, bro. This spot right here I just hit versus, like, you go to a new spot. Like, you could feel the grip. And then up here, it feels like it's all smooth. Dude, that's awesome. I love clay barring, man. It's such a satisfying thing. Yes, sir. But yeah, I gotta do that basically to the whole entire damn car. So, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next hour. <laughs> Probably like 45 minutes, but. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Where are you going, little fucker? Teaching your kids bad habits, probably. So I am going to try to do half of the hood and then obviously not do the other half so we can peel the tape and actually see like the before and after here's those pads that we got from harbor freight uh as you see this one says polishing pad this one says buffing pad so basically the buffing pad is what we're going to use to kind of like clean it and go over and try to get rid of any imperfections that will actually buff out and then we'll go back with the polishing pad and actually make the car shiny gotta make it shiny bro Put in the comments down below if you know what that's from. <laughs> Gotta make your Honda Civic shiny, bro. <laughs> Fucking A. So cringy, dude. Here is my high speed. Uh, I forget what brand this is. Honestly, I think it's like a Black & Decker, like a cheapie. But anyhow, it, it works. I've had this thing for years. And here's one of my old pads. As you can see, that's the reason why I bought new ones. Because, yeah. Those things have been washed like 30 times. And this is my compound, uh, or my polish, or yeah, here we go. Step one, this is max cut compound. So we'll use the step one uh, cutting compound with the buffing pad. And then we will use step two, which is the finishing polish. And we will use that with the polishing pad. I have a little applicator also, so we can just go and actually rub it all over the hood. And then put that onto that and bang, bang, yeah. Uh, I'm about ready to run out of sunlight. It's, I mean, it don't, it don't look like it, right? But it's like, uh, it's like six o'clock. So yeah, the sun will be down in probably an hour-ish. I'm gonna try to hurry up. I'm gonna try to hurry. So let's go ahead and get this half of the hood knocked out. So we can see what our results gonna look like. Starting off with our step one. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's some crunchies in there. This stuff is old, bro. All right, starting with step one. Why aren't you coming out? What the fuck? Oh, shit. Starting with step one. This stuff has gotten a little thick over the years, huh? Doesn't a little bit of hot water can't fix. Yeah. Hopefully. All right, step one. Jesus Christ. It looks like I need to invest in some new compound. Oh my God, dude. This stuff is literally like chalk. 
All right, well, I am clearly not prepared for this like I thought that I was. Dude, I bought this stuff whenever we did, uh, whenever we did the wet sand and buff on khaki. I mean, what was that, two years ago? Maybe I'll try to add a little bit more hot water. Hopefully it breaks it up. I'll be back. All right, step one. Nice. Now it's too fucking thin. Oh man. We're making it work, dude. This is gonna work. Now I got way too much on here. <sighs> All right, finally got the damn wax or polishing compound applied. Um, so go ahead and get this thing opened up. Our step one pad. Oh, oh, very nice. All right, but we're not gonna take the pad just straight to the car. What we gotta do is actually apply some of this compound to it and actually prime the pad. You wanna get it kind of damp. You don't wanna get it like drenched where it's gonna sling shit all over the place, but. All right, here we go. And which by the way, I masked off this cowl up here because you guys know it's got a bunch of little holes in it and slinging this shit around, potentially getting all the little speckles inside of there. It's a pain in the ass to get it out. So I went ahead and I masked that off. So we don't have to worry about that getting all embedded with wax. Tube. Why do you come with a tube? Huh? What's the tube for? On with the polishing pad. Oh, you know what? I bet it's for centering. Is that what that's for? So you can center the pad? How much you want to bet that's what it's for? Look at that. Center. <laughs> I think I figured it out. Right, and we're gonna use our step two, the polishing compound. I have got my work cut out for me, man. I am, I'm gonna be out here all fucking night. I'll tell you that right now. Dude, this paint is just so dry from sitting in this Arizona sun that it is, it's like chalk, bro. It's just absorbing the wax, man. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the before and after. I mean, I may as well, um, but I will say I'm probably gonna end up going over the whole car, probably with the step one with the buffing pad and this um, max cutting compound. I'll probably go over the whole car twice with this, dude. And it's just gonna be like, just a an absolute mess, bro. Just swinging the shit all over the place. Cause I need to try to get as much of that oxidation off as I possibly can before doing the polishing. If I don't run out of energy, I'm gonna try to go over it three times, bro. Um, Cause it needs it, man. But anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. I'm actually interested to see if there's even like a huge difference in this. It doesn't really help that there's a black line. Where's my rag? I'll try to rub that line out of there. Uh, of course there was some wax under the tape, man. Good job, good job, Bravis. You're really good at this. Oh, okay, you can see it. I think you can see it a little bit better in person than what you can on the camera. Yeah, you guys can see that. So, it's not like an impressive difference, but you can definitely see a difference. Yeah, so there's kind of a good representation. You see how that side of the car has that heavy reflection and this side just doesn't. Yeah. So here's the side we buffed and here's the side that we didn't buff. <laughs> so you can't see me at all in the reflection. You come over here to the side that we buffed. There is a little bit of a reflection, bro. But like I said, I think I'm gonna need to go over this thing quite a few times, man. But you know, guys, wish me luck, dude, because I'm gonna continue working on this all night and try to get it done uh, four in the morning. So tomorrow, after I drop Braven off at school, I can come home and give you guys a walk around, and hopefully this thing is just a, a fucking mirror sitting out here with all kinds of reflections in it, man. Holy shit, this is gonna be a pain in the ass, dude. Ugh. See you in the morning. There's absolutely no way 
that I'm finishing this car tonight. You know, I think the problem is, is this shit. I, I think because of how dried out it was, like it's, it's basically dehydrated, bro. It's been inside of my laundry room and inside of my garage at the old house. In the heat and through the summer, like for years, bro. Like I bought this stuff years ago and it sucks because this was like $50 a fucking bottle, bro. But uh, actually I think one of them was like 60, but anyhow, um, it's because this stuff is just drying out so fast. It's not like I just did this. And it's just, it's like chalk, bro. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get this done tonight and be able to show it to you guys tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and call the video. Um, tomorrow after I drop Braven off at school, I'm gonna stop by O'Reilly's and see what kind of like cutting compound that they have. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a, a compound and some kind of polish and just grab some new shit and then just hit this thing hard tomorrow. Um, I will say the hood I think is the absolute worst because check out the roof of the car. Look how shiny that's coming out. But I mean, there is still a lot of stuff like in the paint, like still affected the clear coat. Like when, even though it had that, that plastic dip on it, but dude, the roof compared to like right here, like look how much shinier, well, I did go over this. Like, I don't know. I don't know, but either way, the, the roof just looks fucking amazing right now. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of wish somebody had plastic dipped the entire car because clearly that's, that's what the paint looked like whenever this thing was just, sat for years you know what i'm saying so look in the description down below so you can get the location and the time and everything of when we are going to be out in new mexico um if any of my db fam is out there in new mexico i would love to meet up with um as many of you as i possibly can man because i mean it's not very often that we leave state you know what i'm saying so anyhow i hope to see you guys out there i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please smash the like button and if you didn't maybe you just need to lower your standards a little bit peace